deals because real soon you're going to see us promoting for the low where you can actually get your music you know in yourself your interview in front of you know almost a million people great great plug man that's indeed man we're doing something a great service for the people we dibby and dab through it throughout 2019 but this yeah. time this year yeah. we got something official should be dope if y'all invest in yourself if you're serious about your craft serious about your art you're not going to miss this deal we won't have it up long but it will make an impact man invest in yourself let's go yes sir i want to talk about this story sam man r kelly is back in the news and like i said earlier um, according to all hip hop, R. Kelly's motion for a new bail hearing has been granted. Now, um, Stephen Greenberg, who's the attorney for R. Kelly, filed a motion on R. Kelly's behalf, pretty much denying that he was a flight risk and everything. And um, they did grant R. Kelly uh, this motion so he can have this bail. Now, what this means is that he'll go in front of the judge, and you know, if they assign him a bail, he can pay. And be released with certain restrictions as opposed to staying in there and fight this from behind the wall who'll be able to at least have an opportunity to fight you know from outside the wall do you see r kelly as being a flight risk and how do you feel about um the judge um granting his bail hearing you know this r kelly situation is very we've 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 hit it pretty hard you know what i mean 2019 yes sir explore uh explained our opinion got some backlash Got some people who support it. This is one of those situations where you're not going to please everybody. Everybody's going to have a difference of opinion, and that opinion is going to be very strong. So when I sit here and I think of whether or not it's justified that he gets out on bail while waiting his trial and things like that, it's like, why wouldn't he want to spend that at home? Why wouldn't he be allowed to spend that at home while things get in order to trial? And then if he's found guilty, he gets sent to jail and take it from there. Mm -hmm. But then his lawyer promises that he won't contact Myers or use in his internet and social media will be kept to a minimum. Why the hell does your, I mean, I understand it because of the sensitivity of the situation, but the fact that I get to read that his lawyer has to promise and in big bold letters, it says promise that R. Kelly won't talk to Myers. God damn, is that a problem artist? That's why we sitting in this situation. So in that in itself mm -hmm. kind of makes him a flight risk because if that's an issue of his, and he could do it again, then wouldn't that warrant? It's one of them situations. I don't. I'm, I, it's. I, I, I think, battle with it, dog. I do. I know. I think that is one of those things you have to just state the obvious because when they're trying, I'm sure they've been trying for a while, a while to get a bail for him. These are some of the things that's probably be coming up. They think that he'd be a flight risk, and they don't want him having you know contact with this and that person talking to the media whatever like this and what, what happens is like the lord just puts states that up there like almost like when you, you're telling your parents back in the day like I'm going hear out. yeah I'm, I'm not gonna mom i'll be home by 11. i'm not gonna hang with this person it's the same type of thing and they just putting it out there so if the judge looks over then it's like okay mm -hmm. all right man come on we'll, we'll let you do this so i think that he will actually be granted a bell you know, uh, maybe it's wishful thinking. I think that he will have it probably be high. And um, whether he can make it or not, we'll see at the time. But um, I think that everyone should have an um, opportunity to fight from not from behind the wall, but outside the wall. And like you said, once they're convicted and they go through the due process, you know, um, and then you can take them, you know, do whatever you're going to do. Because look at the OJ situation yeah. this is a guy where everybody thought was guilty right he thought he did it it was so much evidence but when the verdict came in he was not guilty so mm -hmm. i don't know i wasn't there for the r kelly thing i know there's overwhelming evidence against him but until we go through the trial i don't want to sit up here and condemn the guy like oh i know 100 percent that he did all the stuff that they're saying that he did you know what i'm saying facts i forgot what i was going to ask you a question in regards to um his lawyer and his legal team, but I forgot what I was going right. to say as far as R. Kelly is concerned. Yeah, like you said, man, hopefully. No, no, no. This is what I want to do. I want to clarify for the people. Sorry. Yes, sir. Bail hearing does not equate him getting out on bail. He's going to sit in front of a judge to see if he can get a bail and his, to get out. And the judge is going to sit back and look at all these things and deem whether or not he's a flight risk. And this is why the lawyer is promising just for the people to get clarity because I need yeah. a little clarity when you yeah. say, all right, I got yeah. you. All right. We'll see. Yeah. Vic. You're a young boy for the people that don't know vic is 21 years old yes sir so his parents probably listen to r kelly put it that way what do you think about r kelly do you think anything about r kelly is r kelly even in your thought process not at all not right now you hear what's going on 
with the yeah. case and things like that. What do you think about it? I mean, there's some there's a lot of evidence. So I just feel like guilty. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't even gonna say it, but he's just look in his eye like dog. A lot of people feel that way. Yeah, a lot of people feel like that he's definitely um, guilty. And, and you know, again, I just got to give it the um, the benefit of the doubt to just wait. Even though I may think something in my mind like, "Oh yeah," but I just want to wait and see what happens before I just say, "All right, throw this dude away." The terrible thing is, we've been so just stabbed in the back when it comes to this legal system that. No matter what the verdict is or the outcome, where it's going to be something where it's going to be some conflict or something like that. If he's found guilty, there was something out against R. Kelly. If he's found innocent, then it's just always something. I don't know if a verdict is even going to justify what he did. Who knows? What's your gut feeling? What happened? What goes down with R. Kelly? Guilty or he walked? My he walked gut, the first time. My gut feeling is exactly what it was when we talked about it on the old set, probably last March. Yeah. They're talking about, they're talking about giving him hell. He gonna get bailed, but this is a man that got off from the feds once. He beat him. This don't happen. We sat in the fed case. They don't play fair. His his uh his charges and what he was being accused of are very serious. They had tape. <laughs> they had all kind of stuff. You would think it was no way in hell this man would get off, and he got off. For that reason, I put OJ back into it. They ain't letting him go again. <clears throat> I don't care how strong the defense is. I don't mm -hmm. care how much they negate anything the prosecution throws at him. I think that a judge is going to stare at him in fair case number two and go, not this time. Whether or not that's justified or not, I feel like that's what's going to happen. I felt like that then. I feel like that now. And What about a jury? Do you think a jury, what do you think people are anonymous, anonymously convicting? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's a jury that you could throw up there. Mm -hmm. You throw black women up there, they're not having it. Black men. Oh, oh, so you think that black women, you think they they will be more favorable or not to R. Kelly at this point? Not. Black women are the people that's coming to see him, though, in a lot of these cases, too. Uh, yeah, you're 100% correct. But And all I could go off is the vibe in, in my demographic of females that anytime we put up a video and I would happen to feel the energy. And if we sided just a tad bit, <laughs> a smell like we were sighing a tad bit with R, yeah. they was on us. Mm -hmm. It was on us, so yeah. I, I just think that they look at him and they look at the documentary on Lifetime. They hear these young ladies' testimonies. They hear the mothers. They 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 can envision their daughters being in the situation. I think they look at him as a monster. I don't think he stands a chance. Whew. Um, white men and white women. It just goes for what it is. They oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> next, oh man, next, man, man, man. <laughs> Yes, sir. But you're tuned into the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Man, if you're listening to this and you're loving the content, smash that like button for us right now. And if you get an opportunity, don't forget to share this video with a friend or family member like now Sam and Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks is popping fly, coming out saying, like, look, he can body anybody. And he's calling out battle rappers. Uh, Sam, you got that uh, queued up for? Yes, sir. I do. Now, Lloyd Banks was on Twitter. I guess he was talking back and forth with some people. And let me see where this joint started at. Okay. Yeah. Started at 12, 22. And I'm trying to time this out. All right. All right. So somebody on Twitter sharing a ball smoke, wet food stamp said at Lloyd Banks, would you battle on URL for the bag? I watched at Matt, uh, Matt Hoffa expert opinion show. When they mentioned you, what do you think? And then somebody said, it's too much material that could be used against you. Laugh out loud. You get cooked. <laughs> Lloyd Banks said, nobody in the world cooking the kid. Oh, God. We talked about it in the pre-production meeting. We watched URL. We've been seeing Cassidy mm -hmm. do his thing on URL. And we've seen the aftermath of that. We've seen Joe Budden do his thing. We've heard rappers kind of sneak in and threaten the chance. Drake and some other rappers getting into that arena. You think Lloyd Banks stands a chance in the URL arena or any battle rap arena for that matter? Not at all. Shit. Not at all. Not, oh, yeah, God. You, you, um, not at all. Okay. Not not at all. You know, I think it's delusional talk. Mm. Um, and I just don't think it can happen. And we've seen the majority of the guys who came out, 
you know, um, got their heads chopped. Yeah. You know, you look at Cassidy, which I love him, one of my favorite guys of all time when it comes to battle rappers and rappers in general. But I think his last couple of battles, he took he took it to the chin with those battles. I think Goods got him. Mm-hmm. And then my man Arsenal um, got him up there in Philly. So, yeah, it's the same thing. Even with Joe Buttons, he came in and the dude you know, gave, him, you know, gave him body work. Yeah, Hollow Down and, cooked. And embarrassed him. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, I don't see him. You know, uh, Lloyd Banks doing anything. You know, what I mean, now do people want to see it? I'm sure they'll pay to see it, but um, I don't think it'd be a good look if he goes in there and gets dismantled. I don't think it'd be a good look at all for his career. I think Lloyd Banks has the bars to do it. My only thing is, are you going to go ahead and change that gear that you're going to need to change from the booth to that exactly. arena? Exactly. And turn it up. Now, Joe did a better job than Cass, but Joe didn't do it. He wasn't believable enough. The crowd was like, nah. Wow. And Cass wasn't believable at all. So could Lloyd Banks, a real laid back, lyrical, punchline, killer kind of rapper, turn the gear up enough to battle like the R's, to battle like the right, right. Hitman, Hollow the Don, Sue Surf Goods? I would love to see it as any other rapper and hope that he wouldn't get cooked. Did he stand a chance, Sam? Man? Nah. Damn. <laughs> That's why he went ahead. And I don't. And. We, you don't do what Cassidy did. Don't go back and try to dissect bar for bar. Did you win the battle? Yeah. yeah. I don't care how many splits you could do, nigga. Did you do the fucking the, the, the double, triple swirl at homeboy? You got to put on the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you put on the show, if you could do it, I think your bars can match bars and you'd have a chance. But I would have to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's all, you know, uh, definitely talk. At this point, but again, I'll definitely would definitely pay to watch that if he ever hopped in the ring. And I'm not saying I don't like Lloyd Banks; think he's a great rapper, but I just don't think he stands a chance in that arena. And I'm prove us wrong. Lloyd Banks is my favorite rapper in G Unit in the day and age. With G Unit was the shit with Fifty Game Buck, uh, Tony Yayo, and Banks. Right, right. I rock with Banks heavy. I rock with all his albums. I would love to see him do something because we talked about him a little while ago, maybe like last year. In regards to if people are even checking for him anymore. And I think we had to get harsh in that. And that just sucks because I, right. I rock with Lloyd Banks, but this is in a day and age where it's different and you got to seek attention more so than look for substance in your music. And I want to see him get back. So if it's in battle rap, let's do it. Yeah, you checking for Lloyd Banks, uh, Vic? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's what I saw. I was very like, nah. He said, nah. But I mean, the d- different <laughs> demographics. <laughs> You like it? I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely fire. Definitely. Lloyd Banks. Lloyd. He's still with G Unit? Like, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> him and 50 beefing too. I know. Beefing. 50 going to be the new Diddy. I know they don't like each other, but. Yeah. And I think 50 paid his artist, though. Yeah, you never heard about nothing like that. Word. Definitely. But yeah, man, um, that's all we got actually on a uh, schedule here today. A little light one. Yeah, a little light one today. I mean, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to get it in like we always do, you know, and give y'all a full scale show. You know, um, tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, another great show, Hip Hop and Such a Podcast, episode 313 is in the books. We hope that you enjoy the program today. 314 will be tomorrow, man. And um, that's all I got over here. Yeah, man. We got Valentine's Day tomorrow. Hopefully, y'all doing some stuff for y'all Saint ladies. Valentine's Day. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, and I don't want to hear, we don't celebrate that shit yet, but your woman does. So, what y'all do? <laughs> Okay, what y'all say? Man. We got we got a great week coming up next week, man. We we lined up like crazy. We got events Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Got an interview Friday. Yeah. Something going on Thursday and a Saturday, man. We'll keep y'all posted. Yeah. A little earlier in the week next week of what we got going on, man. But I'm excited. Got episode three fourteen tomorrow, three thirteen in the books. Got our man Vic behind the camera. Yes, the new intern, foul mouth angel yeah. on the camera, brother old guy, CEO hip hop censored. Pie, uh, hip hop and censored across from me, Sam Ant, viral hip hop news. We had a hip hop and censored podcast yeah. over and out. Hey, hit that like button, niggas. <laughs>